Hello fellow bookquesters, it is I, Aaron the Bookquester. Today I'll introduce you to this fifth nerd's book, Attack of the Bullies by Michael Buckley. So as always, this is the fifth book of the nerd series. I'm sorry I didn't do the fourth book of the series yet, and I'll and I promise I'll reread it and put it up on my channel too. And this time, what are our nerds up to? Hmm? What are they up to? Well, the nerds, as you might not remember, the, the National Espionage Rescue and Defense Society, uh, uh, the super spies are trying to, well, save the world. And, as you know, as you know, as you might, as you do not know, and, in um, Nerds 4, the villain virus, Heathcliff Hodges, also known as Brainstorm, was in a cell, and she had his subconsciousness had made the villain virus, and that villain virus had it had infected Miss Holiday. And as it is revealed in Nerds number five, um, Miss Holiday was actually a spy, uh, actually a Russian spy. A librarian, uh, an American spy, uh, American spy. So she was juggling three different, three completely different identities, and then, then she took on misinformation, and that was very shattering for her, and that, that um, kind of made her, kind of made her mentally not okay. Well, that's exact. And Miss Holiday, it's quite, quite insane currently. She had assembled a new team to fight the nerds, the bullies, also known as the Brotherhood B, Brotherhood, you, you unstoppable, L, liars, un, the other L, lowlifes, and I, intimidating, E, enemies of Society S. And these bullies are out to stop the nerds. And they have powers just like the nerds. And yep, it's kind of bad for the nerds, you know? And and yeah, Miss Holiday, or aka Misinformation, had built a freaking time machine. And using that time machine, she was going into the past to to erect to disrupt events that made the nerds to be born. So basically, she either messed up a person's wedding or or stopped a person from even meeting, uh, a couple from meeting each other and having one of the nerd members or whatever. It's close. And yeah, it's a really good book. And uh, they're, they're trying to trust Heathcliff and she ha he has no memories of becoming brainstorm and being a bad guy, which is kind of good for him actually. And they're fighting the bullies, and and the bullies aren't really aren't really um loyal to little misinformation. And yeah, Rand goes to the past to fix misinformation's past. And the nerds, meanwhile, have four very angry super giant bullies to deal with. Because, number one, they're enormous. They are enormous! Because they infected too much nanobites, apparently. They're giants. They're enhanced. They're like gods, basically. And then, and then Heathcliff knew. And then, and then Heathcliff managed, managed to fix the damaged Benjamin, the ultimate supercomputer that assists the nerds. And then he asked, he asks Benjamin to tell what happened. And then, Heathcliff remembers him being brainstormed and wanting to take over the world, and then went to the na went to the upgrade room to give himself powers. But the power was giving him his parents. His parents, that will guide him to the right path. And so, Heathcliff Hodges became a good guy again. And then so, he jumped up and he got an idea. They needed some new recruits. Four giants and five nerds. Uh-uh, they needed someone new. 
not someone. So Heathcliff Hodges went up to the school, inside opened up the cafeteria door and said, Hey guys, my name's Heathcliff Hodges and I'm super spy. Who wants superpowers? And it's like, are you okay, my daddy? But then Benjamin zipped around and showed showed images of the super of our nerds, our super spy nerds, and our super spy nerds fighting and having superpowers. And instantly, every one of the nerds are like me. And so basically, Heathcliff Hodges give give them all give them all superpowers. Next, ding ding ding, to and. And the giants are like, ho oh, ho oh, ho, oh, who could possibly stop us? And it's like, Heathcliff and his army of 300 elementary schoolers are like, um, hello, we're here to stop you. And they're like, how are you kidding me? And they're like, 300 superpowered children attacks them. And then, and then at, at first it seems to be working. And then the giants start to, starts to fight back. And then it becomes bad because these these um kids aren't really some of them hadn't figured out what their power is even. And yeah, it kind of sucks for them. But then the real nerds came, the ones who are properly trained veterans, the nerds, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. from the first time, and they come in brace face, uh, brace face. Blue stick, flint, um, flinch, um, Weezer, and yeah, the girl was super, super awesome. Oh yeah, pufferfish. Sorry, sorry, I couldn't remember the name. And all of these nerds with their cool code names attacked the bullies and saved the day. And meanwhile, Brand, the former, the former now not now unformer director of the nerds. Well, went to the past and and rescued Miss Holiday, kind of, because she was being led to a life of being a Russian spy, and then and then he went in and stopped stopped her from going into that stupid horrible life and sent the woman into the right path to America, and yeah, so Miss and so he fixed the past, came back to the came back to the present. And saw that Miss Holiday was bad, except that Miss Holiday wasn't Miss Holiday. She was known as a Russian, not pretending not to be a Russian. And yeah, it's a, and it's a really good thrill ride of an adventure. You can't let go, of it, literally. And like always, your bookwaster, Erin the bookwaster.